What's up, guys? Welcome to Meatballs SOS. Um, tonight, we're going to talk about something very interesting. Um, so, if you live in the Midwest, today you experience something. And if you lived, if you, you know, you're living in parts of the country where you're being affected by this wildfire in Canada, um, you're probably wondering, like, uh, is this air good to be breathing? Um, today, we experienced that. Um, where I'm at, and I come to find out that no, it's not at all. Uh, we were pretty, pretty bad. Um, and I kind of uh tuned out from the crazy media and all the nonsense. Sometimes you have to do that, and I didn't even know anything until this morning. Um, went to work, and there was just a fog or a haze. I'm like, man, what is this? Then the 10 o'clock comes on rolling, rolling around, and I'm like, now I'm starting to question, like, all right, something's going on. Um, and uh, I asked one of the guys that I work with, and he told me, you know, what had happened. Um, went online. Um, somebody else had, you know, reached out to me and was talking about what, you know, what's been going on. And I was completely clueless, and I had to do my own independent research on it. And um, crazy. And it got me thinking about something. You know, something like this. This is a perfect situation where, let's say, okay, these fires, they can't get them un under control. Let's say they hit a, a, some kind of chemical plant or whatever the case may be. You know, they just they can't get them under control. It's, uh, you know, it's impossible. Air quality is horrible. You've got people that can't breathe uh, or have COPD, have asthma, whatever the case may be. And um, you're just trying to, uh, you know, figure out your next step. Well, there is a product out there that, um, you know, a lot of people probably will say, you know, why don't you just get like a regular, you know, respirator you know, the ones during COVID, the N95s, like whatever. Whatever the case may be. I don't know. I'm not an expert in the field. But it got me thinking about something. And there's a product out there that My Mira, Myra Safety, however you want to pronounce it, tomato, tomato. Uh, it's the Taper. The Tactical Air uh, Purifying Respirator. Okay. This thing has uh, a 10-year shelf life on it. Um, it can use CBRN filters. It takes the standard 40 millimeter filter. Um it's compatible with, you know, all different helmet styles. It also is compatible with the ARC ARC uh, helmet system, so it could hook onto the helmet itself, you know, your turtle shell, whatever the case, whatever you're calling it nowadays, um, and it goes over, you know, your mask, and then it's got room for goggles. So here is the respirator, okay? All right, there it is. It's got the mesh backing, okay? show you this all right so it's actually really uh, a really comfortable um device okay it uh it comes with a hard case and it comes with a soft case i keep it in my soft case um it's small it's compact it's convenient and then they also throw in one of these particle max p3 compact filters i don't know if you guys could see that all right, so they throw one of these in there, um, and these two have a shelf life. Um, I'm wondering if that's the filter. It's just a 10-year shelf life. It doesn't say. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, it expires in 2041. I'm not kidding, 2041. Um, what? That doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's I mean I'm not making that up. Just so you guys are aware. Uh they are like I said, they take the standard NATO filters. Situations like this, you're in your car, um, and that smog comes out of nowhere, rolling out of the foothills of wherever you're at, uh wherever wherever you are. Um you're gonna want something like this. And it's only four ounces okay it's not heavy it doesn't take up that much room so if you had to make room in your go bag or put it somewhere in your car whatever the case may be you could totally stow it away um 
you know, like I said, like today just was kind of like a little weird, you know, I had no thrill make of it. I was just like, oh, wow. You know, it could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. Um, you know, it was, uh, not really hard breathing, um, but until I got out into like a certain area, then it started getting a little thicker the air. I definitely noticed it. Um, but, uh, you know, having something like this, you know, where, you know, the canister is going to screw in here, you know, it's not going to block your visibility here. Let me do this. All right. Demonstration purposes only. Okay. There's the mesh. All right. All right. So it's got these here. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Okay. Here's your intake. Here's where the, the filter screws in. Oh, it's not dark. I'm so afraid of. <laughs> so it's definitely high quality. Um, and the filter's going to screw in right here. Okay. So if you're in a situation, all right, if you're in a situation where you kind of have to be tactical, um, that allows you to be tactical. As you saw, I had my glasses on, which goggles. Um, so in your go bag, you know, a deployment bag, whatever the case may be, grab a deployment bag. If you're a gray man, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I highly recommend, you know, having something like this. Um, because after today's events and, and seeing what the rest of the country is going through on the eastern northeastern side of things and the midwestern now side of things um you're gonna want something like this um sure i guess you can go to your local home depot and pick up a respirator with the little pink cartridges um but you know if you want to keep it on the cheaper end of things um just that's fine too that's i'm sure that works the just gets, it's, it's not the respirator itself it's the filters so if you get the right the right filters um you, you should be good you know you know for something like this i'm I, i'm almost 100 percent positive that you know something like that you might be okay with but i'm not a professional so don't take my advice do your own research mira safety they make good products guys um I have a few more of their things, um, but uh, they are a little pricey. There's another company, uh, Parcel Safety, I think. Um, they're not as pricey. They're still pretty, you know, high up there. You know, if you're going to their vintage military uh, surplus store, getting your vintage NATO, French military, Israeli military, whatever the case may be. I mean, I think it was McGuire's Army Navy surplus. They were selling a, a NATO mask. I think it was Israeli for like two hundred and twenty dollars like what so these the price on things are definitely going up actually if you go on mirror safety's website now um they actually have a thing about what's going on in canada so that website is very sensitive to the global events that are happening um they have children's gas masks they have actually chambers for babies they have chambers for pets uh but you want your pet to live you're gonna pay that's all i'm gonna say it's expensive they 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 know they're expensive i've tried many times to kind of get a discount but it's <laughs> they don't give discounts very often i mean like maybe they'll give you 10 percent here 15 percent there but that's as far as they're gonna go right so um what's cool is the cbrn filters uh prior to if you were somebody who was keeping an eye on it they were selling them and at a very reasonable price. They were like, uh, I don't know if they were 25 or 30 bucks a pop. It was something like that. But they were coming from Russia. So when the war broke out, I'm wondering if there was like some kind of business deal that, you know, that maybe they said, okay, we're not no longer dealing with the Russians. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just speculating. This is all speculation. I don't know what happened there. All I know is that they were dirt cheap. I don't know about now. I haven't looked. I haven't had to, had to look. I, you know, picked up so many of them that I just stopped. There was no need for any more. Um, so definitely, again, today is a reminder as to why um, it pays to be prepared for the unexpected. Um, you know, during 2020, during the riots and the protests, you guys saw they were throwing homemade canisters of God knows what 
through people's windows, you know, minding their own business, doing absolutely nothing, and here comes a chemical, some kind of chemical agent through their window, you know. So having respirators for the family um, is definitely uh, a good start for preps. I mean, let's face it, you know, civil unrest is a constant threat, especially now with the um, upcoming elections. You know, it's it's just going to um, be one of the things that's always going to be, in, you know, the back here, my mind at least. So I got to be ready. My family's got to be ready for if that day ever comes again. Because it did happen. It happened. I mean, people had, you know, been sitting in their living rooms, minding their own business, and mobs of people marching down, you know, throwing canisters and all kinds of homemade uh, things through windows and um, gas people out of their own homes. So it, just having something like this, better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So mirror safety, that's the tactical air purifying respirator. Check them out, mirrorsafety.com. All right, guys, that's all I got.